Hey, I have good news. Finally, CapCut released this 3D screen movement feature. Actually, I've been waiting for this, and today, I'll show you how to create this effect. First, import your clip and drag it onto the timeline. I set the ratio to 16 to 9 and adjust the video to match it. Now, go to the Effects tab, search for Player 3, and drag it over the video. First things first, let's get rid of that annoying black rectangle and glow. Set Texture and Glow settings to 0. At the start of the effect, you'll notice a fade-in animation. We don't want that. To fix it, go to the point where the fade-in ends, but don't move the playhead. Now, duplicate the video, decrease the length of the duplicated clip, and drag it to the beginning. Adjust the size again at the playhead's position, then extend the effect size to cover all layers. Set speed to 100. Now, let's bring in some 3D movement. Add a detailed keyframe, then move about 2 seconds forward and rotate the clip. I rotated it around 80 degrees, but don't worry about the black edges yet, we'll fix that later. Next, move a few more frames forward and adjust the size and horizontal position to create a zoom-in effect. Then, move forward again and rotate it in the opposite direction. Finally, at the end, reset the rotation and size back to default so the movement flows smoothly. Now that the rotation looks good, go to the split point where the animation ends. Select all layers, right-click, and create a compound clip. Then, press Ctrl plus B to split it, hit backspace, and delete that small part. Time for the final trick, fixing those black edges. Add a transform keyframe at the start, then go to the end of the first rotation and zoom in just enough to hide the edges. Repeat this for the other keyframes. Go to the animation's ending point, zoom in, and adjust the position so there are no black edges left. Lastly, right-click on the clip, make a compound clip again, and add motion blur. Set it around 30 for smoother movements. And that's it. I hope you learned some new tricks to take your edits to the next level, and don't forget to click those buttons under the video. If you don't know how to animate a character like this in CapCut, you can watch this video. Oh, sorry, where's my outro?